Welcome. Today the church celebrates the feast of St. James the Apostle. Our presider today is Father Ron. As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, Jesus saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, mending their nets, and he called them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. As we gather to celebrate this liturgy and the Feast of St. James, we're reminded of his great witness of service of the Lord and spreading the good news that Jesus left us. So we now take a moment to remember the merciful Lord who offers us forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to announce the good news of salvation to all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to bring forgiveness for sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you came with healing for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of St. James, grant we pray that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we hold this treasure in earthen vessels, that the surpassing power may be of God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not constrained, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed, always caring about in the body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. For we who live are constantly being given up to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So, death is at work in us, but life in you. Since then, we have the same spirit of faith. According to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those, Those who, who sow in tears, tears shall, shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. 
Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, our, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert, that those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those, those who, who sow, sow in tears, tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves, those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Father, your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his holy gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. The mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink. But to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, Whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. It seems James was a popular name back in the first century A.D. because we find in the New Testament at least three Jameses as leaders in the early church. The one whose feast we celebrate today, James, known as the son of Zebedee. And then another of the twelve, James, son of Alphaeus. And then a third in the Acts of the Apostles, who is simply referred to as 
James, the brother of the Lord, obviously a relative of Jesus, who was the leader of the early Christian community in Jerusalem. The one whose feast we celebrate today is James, son of Zebedee. Now, there are two sets of brothers amongst the twelve, James and John, who we hear about in today's reading, and of course, Peter and his brother, Andrew. We hear in the gospel today how it was, at least in this gospel, the mother of James and John, who asked Jesus for this favor, that, she would, that he would give her sons places of honor when Jesus entered into his kingdom, one on the right and one on the left. She obviously didn't understand what kind of kingdom Jesus was going to establish. And Jesus tells her so very plainly, but she speaks to all of them. She speaks, he speaks to her and to her two sons and all of the rest of the disciples who are there saying, we don't do things that way in this kingdom. We don't look for positions of honor. Those who are in authority don't, don't lord it over others. Rather, those who are of greatest significance in the kingdom of God, as Jesus has announced it, are those who serve their brothers and sisters. So it's not titles, it's not positions, it's not places of honor that distinguish people in the kingdom that Jesus has come to announce. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. Therefore, if this is how the Master operates, then his disciples must be the same. And so we don't go around looking for recognition for our good works. We don't expect people to lavish us with all kinds of thanks and praise for something that we do for someone. If we put ourselves out, if we lay down our lives for someone else, it's not because we're going to get a plaque or a certificate, but rather we're imitating Jesus who came not to be served, but to serve. We imitate Jesus in offering our lives in service to others. This is the Christian ideal. This is what leadership means. This is what discipleship means for all who are in the company of Jesus. And so we strive more and more to empty ourselves of our need for recognition and praise and do all for the service of God and God's kingdom. Called to be people of faith and love, we turn to the Father of love with our prayers. That the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air, and water. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may be, we, that we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and assist them with needed services and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer that we guard the sanctity of the Eucharist, always seeing it as our summit and source. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Barry Grimes, Joanne Schlemmer, Deacon Ed Moser, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Gabby Short. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Dan Hassenflug, 
Brenda Fasson, Gertrude Vanderhaar, Esperanza Alvarez, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of all goodness and grace, you are always with us. Hear our petitions based on your divine providence. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And let us pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God who is our Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, the praise for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Cleanse us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your Son's passion, so that on the feast of St. James, whom you will to be first among the apostles to drink of Christ's cup of suffering, may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with all the hosts of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of God hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all who serve and minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed James and all the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray together for the coming of the reign of God as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. They drank the chalice of the Lord and became the friends of God.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us, let us pray. Help us, O Lord, we pray, through the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, on whose feast day we have received with joy your holy gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.